Welcome back. Well, by the way, my name is uh, Guy Varghese. I'm the chief trainer of Walnut, the organization for advanced training. Today, we are just taking a look at odd one out type of questions. It's commonly known as odd man out. What is the basic concept of odd one out type of questions? So actually odd one out means we are picking the one which is totally different from the group. We may have a set of uh, objects given or it could be like animals, it could be numbers or whatever it is. We need to pick one from the group which is totally different from others. For example, if it is a group of human beings, we have four girls and one boy in the group, total five, four girls and one boy. Which one would be the odd one or one which is different from the group would be the boy based on the gender. So the basic classification for human beings is the gender. Well, if five persons in a group, all of them having the same gender. So for example, five girls in a group, what would be the next level of classification or what is the uh, what is the one thing which is different among them so that we have to look at carefully if the five girls in a group and four of them are wearing blue dress and one is wearing the red color dress possibly that the color of the dress would be the different so it is it goes so on and so forth so we have to look at the characteristics when it comes to numbers what's the basic level of classification for numbers odd numbers and even numbers if we have four even numbers and one odd number that would be different from the group if we have four odd numbers and one even number that would be different from the group as well that even number would be different from the group so if it is odd and even definitely odd and even would be the first level of classification if all the numbers given are odd numbers five odd numbers then what is the next thing we look for prime numbers and composite numbers. If four of them are composite numbers and one is a prime number, definitely we go that four number, go for that number. That one number, the prime number, which would be different from others. On the other hand, we have four prime numbers and one composite number, we'll pick the composite number. And that number is totally different from other numbers. And if all the given five numbers are odd numbers and all of them are composite numbers then what is next we look at the divisibility test if all these five numbers are divisible by three if all this only four numbers are divisible by three and one number is not divisible by three then we'll pick that number now we'll take these examples rather than talking a lot we'll just do it yacht dinchy boat drone and canoe so what are they if you know what are they, then it's easy for you to find the answer. Yacht. It's a small ship or it's a small luxury ship which is owned by the famous person, infamous person. Who is it? Vijay Malaya. You probably you heard of that. Before he was leaving for uh, London, he was kind of like, you know, globetrotting on his yacht. So that's a small ship. Dinchy, that's a small boat. And boat, of course, you know what is a boat. And drone, you know, the drones, right? Yes. And what is canoe? That's a small raw boat, right? So canoe, drone, boat, dinghy, and yacht. So yacht, dinghy, boat, and canoe are the vessels used in water. And drone, not in the water, that is pretty much in the air. So which one is totally different from the group? The drone would be the answer in this case, drone. Now how about the next set? 57, 91, 59, 37 and 51. These are all odd numbers. If these are all odd numbers, now there is no even number at all. So what is the next thing we look for? Is there a prime number in this group? Or is there like composite numbers in the group? 57, 5 plus 7, is 12 so it's a multiple of 3 so it is not a prime number 9 plus 1 is 10 91 is it a prime number or is it a composite number what's a prime number first of all the number which is divisible by the same number and 1 so that's a prime number examples of prime numbers 
In number series, we will discuss that area. I'll just give you a couple of examples. Two, three, five, seven, eleven. These are prime numbers. All right. So now, look at this. Ninety-one. Is it a prime number? Is it divisible by three? Nine plus one is ten. It's not divisible by three. However, it's divisible by seven. Thirteen into seven is ninety-one. So it is not a prime number. Fifty-nine. 9 plus 5 is 14. 59, do we have any factors for 59 other than 1 and 59? Any other factor? Can you divide 59 with 3? With 4? With 5? With 6? With 7? Is it possible? Not at all. So 59 is a prime number. How about 37? 37? Again, that's a prime number as well. And 51. What is that? 51. It's a multiple of 3. 5 plus 1 is 6. So 6 and it's a multiple of 3. So the answer would be, well, this is a composite number. Composite number. And this is a composite number. And this is a composite number as well. However, we have two prime numbers. See that? If there's only one prime number, that would have been the answer. In this case, we have two prime numbers. So that is not possible. Now we have to look at something else. What is, what is that? The digits, the sum of the digits. So what is a digital sum? So 12, this one is 10. So 12 is 2 plus 1 is 3. And 10, 10, 1 plus 0 is 1. And 59, 5 plus 9 is 14. 14, 1 plus 4 is 5. And 37, 10, again 10. So digital sum is 1. And 51, digital sum is 6. Well, in this case it is 3. In this case it's 1. This is 5. This is 1. This is 6. So that case, which one is the only even number when you take the digital sum? 6. So naturally, we have to look at the possibility of what? 6 or 51 could be an answer. Well, you know what? To be honest with you, this question is not a perfect question. This is an example of a question which has a slight logical flow. Actually, the person who is supposed to give you the question or like prepare the question, he was planning to make a question which give, gives an obvious answer, but it was not possible in this case. So if you get a question like this for the exam, we don't have any choice. We cannot really rewrite the question. The only thing we have to go with the possible answer. All right. Question number three. P, Q, D, E, M, O, T, U, and F, G. So P and Q, consecutive letters. D and E, consecutive letters. M and O, not consecutive. N is missing in between. T and U, consecutive letters. F and G, consecutive letters. So that is simple. So that actually the answer would be M and O. Now you may have questions from animal kingdom as well. So if it is from animal kingdom, how do you answer those questions? Look at it. I'll give you an example. From animal kingdom, the questions like, uh, you know what, tiger. Lynx. Fox, Panther, Leopard. Which one would be the old one in this group? See that? Tiger, Lynx, Fox, Panther, Leopard. All these are wild animals. All these are carnivores as well. There's no single herbivores in this group. 
So then which one would be the answer? I know you have that answer in your mind. Well, the fox, the reason fox is not from cat family. All other animals are from cat family. So fox is the old one out. So that is from animal kingdom. Sometimes from animal kingdom, you may have questions. Well, all five animals given and one would be a female animal. All others are male. I'll give you an example. A, B, C, D, and E. So let's start from, well, one of the familiar one. Cow. We have mare. Wigs. We have uh, dove. And we have uh, So what is it? Cow? Of course, you know that. Female cattle is cow. Mare? Female? Horse. These are all females. Horse. And this is cattle. And this one? Wicks? What is it? Wicks? Wicks? Vapor up? Doe? What is doe? Doe is female goat. Female sheep. However, this one wicks is fox, but it is male, male fox. All others are what? Female animals. So this one, this case, wicks is the answer, wicks. The reason? It's a male fox. At the same time, if you look at this, this is a fox. Fox is the only Carnivorous animal in the group, meat-eating animal in the group, all others are what? Herbivores. So there are two ways of getting that answer. All right? So pressure working with you guys. Keep your preparation sturdy with full energy until we meet next time. Thank you.